We've shown you how, how we route our vinyl on our big fancy indoor router that just does all the nice work for you and all you gotta do is push a button. We're gonna take all that away. Whoa. We're gonna show you how we're gonna go ahead and route a couple holes in this post. And as you can see, there's not one hole in this post. So what we have is we have a template. We've got a whole kit here uh, that has all of our rail profiles that we sent off, had made. These fit every single rail profile that we have to install all of our vinyl. So we just gotta go through that kit, find out which one we need. This is the template design for the one and three quarter by eight inch Titan rail. And on the back side here has these nice little deals that are already set up for a five inch post, which is what we're working on. So we're gonna go ahead and put this on the post like so. And these two things right here, the bumpers, are gonna hold it tight at the post, but we're still gonna put a clamp on it so it doesn't move so that we can trace it. Now, I know what you're thinking. How are you gonna keep from running that router bit into that template and destroying it? Well, that's even cooler. Cause this router bit has this little bearing on it. And what it does is it follows around and bumps into the outside there so that we're able to trace that rail profile. So this template is actually X amount bigger than it needs to be. But by the time you put the bearing into the router bit, it's the right size. So like I said, that just slips right on the post there and it holds, it holds tight this way, but it can still move up and down the post. So we wanna clamp it in position. So we're gonna set a quarter inch below the top of our post and that should give us two inches from the top of the post to the top of the top hole. So I am going to go ahead and clamp on the bottom side so that way this cannot shift up or down on my post. So we're gonna go ahead and turn this bad boy on and we're gonna see how it works. We're just gonna go ahead and move that clamp real quick. The router's still a thousand times better. You can't replace a machine. This is just a simpler way to go ahead and route holes in the field if you're going to tap into one of your existing vinyl fences that you've already set or tap into an existing vinyl fence. Now let's just go ahead and double check it with our rail. Perfect. Rail's nice and tight, no problems there. And we want 52 inches between the, the bottom of the top hole and the top of the bottom hole. So we're gonna go and set at 51 and three quarters and that should give us our 52. Perfect, awesome. Now, this is great for tie-ins. Uh, another thing that this could also be great for is, you know, what if you're just starting out and you wanna dabble a little bit in vinyl fence? But this is also a cheaper option to start off with before you would work yourself into an entry-level router. For a simpler way of routing holes instead of doing a pencil and tracing out that pencil line, the easy hole method, thumbs up, it's right on. If you wanna see how we traditionally do a vinyl fence, in case you missed it, and what kind of router we use back at our shop, make sure and check out this video right here. Now, if you wanna see how to dig inside a vinyl fence post, make sure and check out that video right here. It's Dan with SWI, we are Wyoming's Fence Company, and you have a good dang day.